Hello everybody, my name is I'm for Six Time for you. Welcome to more Go! So this is uh Rory McElroy PG uh, Tour uh, Career uh, Let's Play. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're pretty much going to be continuing off exactly where we left off. Uh, exactly where we left off in the Career Builder Challenge. So this might be a long putt, I don't know. Over there. Clean this up with a tap. Right, Rich. A little bit of a dry spell, but really not a lot of damage done. <laughs> Sit down. Rich, I thought he could get the. Yeah, there certainly is bunkering both on the left and the right. Once again, though, par fives yeah, are always an opportunity for the longer hitter. Wait, Even if you stray a little off, uh, a little off line, then it just becomes a three shotter, like it is for everybody else. So I'm actually going to have to play some ball. Crucial. E Poking it down the left side. Who wants to do that? Force your uh, hand, try and go down the right side. Might make the odd three. Make a few more fours. But uh, miss it on the right, and that's oh, where you're stuck to make a big number. Oh, oh, solid strike. Right. Okay. In action, hole number 10 as we get going on the back side. And Frank, if you're hitting it low and left, or you're hitting it high and right, you can make some big numbers out here. A lot of water. We well, certainly can, especially for those people that have to tee off the tenth, their first tee shot of the day. Oh, without conjure up some of that. Want a little extra. Uh, Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoke it. Up with the big boys now, Frank. I will be recording a lot of episodes. Uh... That's how the best of the... Oh, if this is up, it's good. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a. Uh, I actually just saw. Um, I'm just going to be. Puffing out to where I get. For us. All the trouble appears down that left side with the series of bunkers, uh, but you've got to take into account the trees that are well positioned down the right side. Plus, as you can see, this fairway is not exactly flat. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side game plan stuck to it hitting some quality shots he's really done his homework on the golf course um, swinging well and uh... all right there's the lake on the tee shot on the left side and then he's reversed it up there on the second shot right on the right just pulverized that golf ball Wow, that is a monster drive down. Get down, lay down. Up. 
A oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Frank, it makes the clubs do you hit the best? Are you better with a nine on? You're better with a wedge because that's the distance you want to hit it to. That's that's how you can be aggressive even when you're laying up. Good contact, good result. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. It's the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions, but once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tee it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Most of it's sand. Uh, two options, really. Poke it down that left side, let it run down there like a bowling alley. Either that or take that bunker completely out of play. Um, 290, 300 yard category and get it down there where it's just a flick wedge in. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good. It's in the hole. You know, the bunkering here, Rich, I think is excellent. The bunker that meanders its way down the right side tends to go to the right, and then you start to see those two bunkers down the left side. You've really got to try and take that second one on the left out of play. That requires something in the. In the here currently sitting at one under for the round. You're a flick in here. Um, I, I'm gonna say that's not a bad play really. If you don't do that then you just gotta thread it down the left. Paying attention like a little kid at school Frank. Horses are just simply left and right. But what Pete Dye does, he lets them cut. I mean, he goes after it like he is here. Well, this looks good. Certainly is. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Frank, we were commenting earlier in the day that this round had really gone wrong. Are, are you surprised that he's been able to put it back together? No, certainly, I'm. Mean, he's lost his composure, his rhythm. So, really, to be playing this well so quickly after that, um, it took it out. Always a chance in this game. Here we go now, the final par five of the day, Frank. Yeah, decision on how much you bite off here. If you play the ball to the right, then it's going to play its full 600 yards. But if you can take it in a direct line at that green, you're going to chew off a little bit of yardage. But you have to be able to carry that bunker. And through the years, a lot of excitement here at this par 5 16. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, the tee shot was like, was like silk, silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot I'm so beautifully. Change. Okay. Great approach shot, but it, it still ends up in the fringe. A little bit of magic from here. Yeah, it's holes not over.
if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. And getting ready for the putt. Oh, oh that hurt. Good, dude. Oh. Shot gone forever. That was so close. I'm getting slightly better, but not always. Damn. <laughs> Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Hopefully, he, these videos. Well, there it is. Too long. They call it Alcatraz. Just sitting out there on the water, 168 yards away, Frank. Well, speaking of water, that water looks so peaceful, doesn't it? It'd be a shame to spoil it with a splash. Thirty-nine yards, but again, we've said it all day long. Water to deal with. It's a great driving hole here, Rich. You don't necessarily have to hit driver. Um, three groups of uh, bunkers that are really in play off the uh, off the tee shot. It's the one in the middle. It's um, around 290 yards. That's the one you really have to focus on. Uh, for stronger players, there's nothing wrong with uh, hitting three wood off the tee. There, you're still only going to have a shot of 150, 160 yards. Whichever way you look at it, it's something that you think you can find the fairway with. I know. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. That is a tremendous shot right there. Touch, nerve, at it all. So that he has the bottom of the barrel. The Just a fantastic <laughs> week of golf. Episode, Add that one to uh, the win count. A lot of uh, great quality um, players out episode, there. To come on top of that leaderboard but is I mean, truly a great accomplishment. I plus six stampy, and I shall see you all in the next video. And I'm just going to see what <laughs> that video is going to be called. Come on, pink golfers. Yeah, me. So the upcoming event is the Bioware Classic. Uh, I quite like this, uh, the, this next one. Uh, however, um, yes, I will tackle this in episode number three. So again, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all later. A goodbye for now. Ladies and jelly spoons. Stay awesome and peace out.